My name is Nick Falk, and I'm the author of the Sora Street series, who's behind us here. Well, it's based on a very normal, very quiet, and very standard, leafy little suburban Australian street, where there just happens to be a time portal connecting back to the Cretaceous period. And if ch children imagine hard enough, dinosaurs come through this time portal and start causing terrible havoc all up and down the street, and the children have to quickly get rid of the dinosaurs before their parents notice. My inspiration for writing Sora Street was my own son, in that from the age of four, he was very strict with me. Whenever we went for walks, he insisted I make him up a new story. And so for about three years, I did this, making up a new story every day. And we built a whole world around Sora Street with all its characters and all the different dinosaurs and the crazy teacher at the school. And so really the inspiration was Jack, my son. He's also the name of the child in the first book. because it's terribly silly and tremendous fun with lots of crazy characters and wonderful illustrations. And I think the whole joy of it is you learn to get better at reading without even noticing your reading. My favourite dinosaur has always been the Pachycephalosaurus, which was a dinosaur with a bony head that if anyone made him angry, we'd headbutt them. And I used to go around doing this at school as well. But I got in more trouble than the Pachycephalosaurus did, which is very unfair. I think well, what I'd least like in the veggie patch would be any of the sauropods, so the great big long ones like the Diplodocus, because he would lie on top of all the vegetables and crush them. I wouldn't mind a Tyrannosaurus at all, because even though he might be grumpy, they're carnivores, so he wouldn't eat any of the vegetables. So he could sit in his corner eating steak, and I could eat the vegetables, and I think we'd get along just fine. Well, it's not really an excuse that I got in a lot of trouble. It was true. So I lived in the attic room, and I left the windows open, and the squirrels did steal my homework. I, I maintain to this day, even though my English teacher claims I'm lying, it's true. They must have come in and taken it. It was there on my desk. The window is open. There's a tree with squirrels in. How else do you explain it? The squirrels did steal my homework quite often. 